Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, scientific students. Welcome to another topic in STEM 003 General Physics 1. Ayan, so magtuloy-tuloy tayo mga anak. And for this topic, we will be talking about Module 12, Describing Physical Quantities for Objects in Static Equilibrium. Yes. Parang ang hirap-hirap ng title niya, ano? Di ba yung static yung uso ngayon na... Di ba yun? Ah, static yun? Ay, static ko yun. Nakapag-static yun. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tumapormahan ang mga ano, estudyante natin. Ayan, sabi ko nga, parang mahirap yung title, pero kayang-kaya natin yan. Siyempre, so, dahil meron tayong mga... Uh, ano na tawag doon? Strategies. Meron tayong mga pa-techniques na ituturo. Yes, madali lang yan, mga anak. Okay? Let's have first the following objectives. First is to describe and look Locate, or locate at the center of mass of an object. And describe and calculate the torque from the force applied at a given point. Torque. Di ba yung ano yan? Masarap dun sa SM. <laughs> Torques yun. Ay, torque yun. Ay, akala ko yung torque. <laughs> torque, di ba yung tinidor? Torque <laughs> yun. Ay, torque ko lang. Sorry, sorry. Torque, di ba yung ano, yung may ilaw? <laughs> torque yun. Ay, torque ba yun? Diba okay, yun? okay, okay. Wala lang ko yung entry tawal. <laughs> okay. Okay, Shepard. let's first have the center of mass. Kapag sinabi natin center of mass, mga anak, the center of mass or CM of any object or system is that point at which all the mass or weight of the object or the system may be considered concentrated. An object or a system can be balanced on its center of mass. See the following illustration. Ayan, so, so ibig sabihin o, daw, yes. Ayan siya. Ibig sabihin, yung mga objects na nakikita niyo, niyo dyan, in order for that object na mabalance, daw nasa dapat center. daw nasa sentro. Pati sa tao, di ba? Uh, Nakasentro ang kanyang mass para diretso siya maglakad. Yes, ito o. Oh, yes, mga para hindi siya ma-out of balance. Yung mga yan, lahat po yan ay nasa gitna. Oh, or, that is center of mass. Yun. And, of course, ito. Let us define ano nga ba yung torque. Ano okay. nga ba ang torque? Aba. Torque is a measure of how much force is acting on an object which causes that object to rotate. Ibig sabihin, meron na tayong rotation na nangyayari. It, sorry, it can be clockwise or counterclockwise. Counter For example, familiar kayo sa volt? Yes. Yung sa volt. So, kailangan, meron kang force na i-apply. So, pag ikot mo lang yun, bubukas yung volt. Tama? So, meron kang kailangan force na i-apply para bumukas yung bagay na yun. Okay. And, asan na ako dyan? The object rotates about an axis which we will call the 5-volt point. 5-volt point. And we'll label Ito 0. Yun. Okay? And we'll label 0. We will call the force, the, we will call the force, <laughs> we will call the force the distance from the pivot point to the point where the force acts is called the moment moment arm. Oh, oh, the moment arm. So, ito daw po, asa na yung cursor ko? Ito daw po, yung force applied. And then, it is, sorry, saan na tayo ulit? Force act is called the moment arm. It is denoted by L. Note that this distance L is also a vector and points from the axis of rotation to the point where the force acts. Before calculating the torque, it is suggested that you need to specify which direction is positive and the other negative. So take note, hindi lang po natin siya basta-basta sinosolve. You need to consider as well if it is going to negative part or sa positive part. Part. So, take note, nakapag-positive siya, ang ikot daw ng direction niya is counterclockwise. Otherwise, kapag negative naman siya, its direction is clockwise daw. Take note, we are dealing with ikot. Kapag positive siya, ang ikot daw niya ay pa-counterclockwise. Ganito. Kapag clockwise naman, syempre from the word itself, yung clock, tignan nyo mabuti, pa ganito daw ang kanyang ikot. Ayun. And do we have the following formulas? Ayan. So, take note. Meron tayong dalawang formula ng torque. Okay? It's either force times distance or pwede rin namang force times distance 
times sine theta. Ma'am, tindi na nung pinakaiba niyan. Ayan, depende if the given, kung ang given problem natin ay may binigal na, binigal, binigay na angle or degree, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin ay yung merong sine yes. theta. Pero kapag wala naman, ang gagamitin natin ay force times distance only. Yun. Okay, if Newton, if F is in Newton and I is in meters, then the unit of torque is Newton, Newton meter. meter. Ayan. At, meron pa. Ayan. Take note then, the torque is tinatawag din siyang moment of force. Involved na po dyan, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, rotation or twist. Meron siyang pag-ikot. And also, force pen perpendicular to distance. Parehas daw dapat at, sorry, perpendicular daw dapat ang force kay distance. Ayun, meron pa. And of course, meron din tayong formula na gagamitin for, uh, ano Total nga yan? torque. Ayan, okay. total torque. That is torque 1 plus torque 2, so forth and so, so on. So, ibig sabihin, okay. summation. We will get the summation. summation. of torque. Depende yan ma'am kung ilan po yung given. In this equation, N is the total number of torques being applied to the object. This is also a special case of this called re rotational <laughs> equilibrium. This is where the addition of all the torques acting on an object equals zero. Oh, Alam ko so ma'am yung mga stem natin, familiar siya sa tinatawag natin summation. Uh -uh. Sa so, ibig sabihin daw, kapag tinotal mo lahat ng acting torques natin, mag equal daw siya kay zero. So, ibig sabihin yung total torques natin is equal to zero. And torques naman na yung sinabi ko. Torques. Torque. <laughs> Sorry. In rotational equilibrium, the sum of the torque is equal to zero. Sabi ko nga kanina. In other words, there is no net torque on the object. So, ibig sabihin, summation of torque is equal to zero. Kapag pinag-add mo daw lahat yun, zero ang magiging. Kapag pinag-add mo lahat ng Sagot. torque, busog na tayo na. <laughs> Pag pinag-add mo lang ng torque, mahal. Ay, mahal yun. Ah, mahal, 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 mahal. Ayun, para mas maintindihan at mas maipaliwanag ng gusto, let us now proceed with our... Examples! examples. Okay, example number one. So, a pivot point is at the hinges of the door, opposite to where you were pushing the door. The force you used was 50 newton at the distance of 1.0 cm from the pivot point. You hit the door perpendicular to its plane. Take note with the word perpendicular. perpendicular. So the angle between the door at, at and the direction of force was 90 degrees. Okay. And so for this certain topic, we're looking for torque. And our formula is R is equal to F L sine theta. F, F, our, F is our force. L is our distance for this certain topic. And we have our sine theta. Theta. May question na ko. Yes, Sir Jason. What if wala siyang binigal na angle? Yes, what if wala siyang binigay na angle? Very simple. Tanggalin mo lang yung sign theta okay. dyan. Ang gagamitin lang natin is yung F and L. Now, para masolve natin yan, kunin natin ano yung F natin, ano yung distance natin, at ano yung ating sign theta or yung ating angle. Sorry, yung ating angle. For this topic, sorry, for this problem, ang force natin ay nasaan yun? Ayun, 50 newton. And our distance is 1.0 cm. Take note mga anak na sa ating slides, naka-emphasize doon na dapat ang distance natin is always in meter. At dahil naka-centimeter yan, of course, we need to convert. Papaano po yun? Ita times mo lang yan. Dahil nasa taas yan, dapat nandito sa baba ang iyong cm. Nandito sa taas ang iyong meter. And in 1 meter, ilang centimeters po ang meron tayo? 100 po. 100 centimeters. So simplify, 1 times 1? 1. 1 divided by 100? Ewan po na lang. 0 0.01 <laughs> meter. So ito po ang ating gagamitin for distance. And ang binanggit po na angle sa ating problem is 90, 90. degrees. So by substitution, we have now R is equal to 50 newton times ita times mo daw siya kay 0 0.01 meter times sine 90 degrees using our calculator again mga anak kung paano sinulat ganun ang pagkaka-type we have 50 times 0 0.01 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 
times sine 90 degrees is equal to 1 half. Pwede rin naman Ano po point. ang ating unit? Ano po ang ating unit? New. We have Newton meter. And gaya ng sinabi ni Sir Jason, pwede rin siyang 0 0.5 Newton meter. Final answer. Okay. On with our Ulitin mo, hindi na rin again. <laughs> And let's now move on with our example number 2. Determine the torque of on a bolt if you are pulling with a force of 200 Newton directed perpendicular to a wrench of length 20 cm. Okay, sabi ni Ma'am Titin Karina, kung walang angle na ibinigay, FL lang. Wala po tayong nakikitang angle, but take note students of the word perpendicular. Ibig sabihin po niyan, 90 degrees. O, okay. na-discuss natin yung sa calculus before. Therefore, mga anak po, ang gagamitin pa rin natin is torque is equal to force times distance times sine theta. Take note mga anak that sine here is constant. Hindi mm -hmm. po yan <laughs> nagbabago. Okay, let's now determine the value of our force, the value of our length, and the value of our distance theta. yun ah distance sorry 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 this distance length length yan o oh, di ba ang length is distance okay so force in this particular pro problem is equal to 200, 200 newton newton while our length or distance is equal to san yun 20, 20 centimeter. centimeter but take note sabi ni Ma'am Tintin kanina our length or distance is always in terms of meter. So, i-convert natin siya. Okay, nasa taas, ibababa natin si centimeter. centimeter. At nasa taas dapat si meter. meter. Alam natin that 1 meter is equal to 100, 100 centimeter. Pwede na natin cancel si centimeter. 20 times 1 is equal to 20. 20. Okay, all over 100. 100. But 20 all over 100 is equal to what? Okay, sige. Para kung mayroon tayong issue sa ano, Ano tayong trust issue? May trust issue that is equal to 0 0.2 meter. Since meter na yan, we are now ready to solve. And our theta is equal to? 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Let's now substitute. Okay, R now is equal to 200 newton times. Okay, our length is equal to? 0 0.2 0 .2 meter. 0 0.2 meter times sine 90 degrees. Are we clear? Yes. Okay, kung may pagkakasulat, yun pong pagkakapindot, 200 times 0 0.2 times sine, okay, 90 is equal to 40. Equal to 40. Again, our new to, uh, unit is Newton. Meter. Meter. Final Answer. answer and that's all for the module number 12. 12 mga nako lagi namin sinasabi magiging mahirap ang mga susunod na araw susunod na topic hindi lang sa subject na ito sa lahat ng subject pero lahat yan ay dapat nyong kayanin dahil sa kayong hashtag scientific students bye bye, bye, -bye